welcome to my youtube channel i never thought i'd say this shout out to everybody that um dragged me onto this platform i appreciate you guys i don't appreciate the social anxiety that this is gonna give me this is a get to know me tag with a twist this is a get to know me through my friends tag because why show me your friends and i'll show you a future so this, how this get to know me tag is gonna work is ask my friends a few questions and ask them to send um their answers back to me in vns i didn't listen to those vns so this is also gonna be me reacting to those vns them describing me i have about 10 questions that i asked them and yeah So the answer is a definite yes. Thank yes you. Times ten. Thank you. Definite. Thank you. And yeah, we bad bitch. Bad bitch. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'd like to think of myself as a baddie. I am a baddie. Yes, but it's like you're funny without even trying. It's just the things you do and you say, they're just so funny to do. Like, really, really funny. So I'm a clown. Yes, yes. Very people are not funny and they do just fine. I see, I see, I see she was trying to let me down easy. Nami, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm funny. Sometimes you're funny because things cut and you but yes, in general, you're funny. Are you funny? No. Only because I think I'm the funniest person on this planet. Okay. But the people around me are probably gonna say, they're probably gonna say, oh, see, I'm loud. Because we just got used to it, but like, she has this habit of when she's laughing, she like hits anything and anyone next to her, so we just give her some space most irritating thing about you is <laughs> you want to see That's things for yourself most of the time this particular friend will be like tanda no don't go there and i'm just like how oh, why not and tell Uguti, i know Uguti, what i want to do when i go in there so i go there and that mo Nine out of ten times, nothing happens. The most irritating thing is that even at seven o'clock, when you have so much energy and you're so loud, when most of us are still trying to wake up. I have nothing to say about that. If you guys decide you're going to start off your days on a bad note, then so be it. The irritating thing about you is that you carry on talking, even though no one else knows what you're talking about that like, will ask you tell me what the hell are you talking about tell the Kuma, man. but you know you don't answer you just carry on talking and the rest of us just have to guess or we just have to figure it out on our own and that is really that is honestly the most irritating thing about you moral of the story is i was wrong my friends don't think that my loudness is quite irritating it's not the loudness per se it is the energy that I possess. What's the best thing about me? About you is that I appreciate that you can be the most transparent person in people's lives. Like you will not cut around the bushes. You're very straight up. But your kindness. Oh my goodness, Tanda, you have so much love and you spread so much kindness. Yeah, that's the truth. Is you are the most understanding person on God's green earth. Thank you. It's very good for like when you with me, like your ability to just break the ice or just make things not so quiet. For sure, for this particular friend because she's very shy, very very shy, and I'm not shy at all. She is she is a confident leader. She really knows how to lead people, make people feel confident in themselves. And just being happy with their bodies and their self-esteem. So that's the best thing about her. Now. 
vous m'appelle. Honestly, come on friend. That's that. Okay, shop. Yeah, sometimes ginga. But that's too far. For me. We are most likely to just do everything first, I think. Like get married first, get babies first. Like J all of those first things, I think. I actually have no idea. Most likely to meet someone super important, I guess. Someone in politics, even. Boring. Um, something I'm really good at. That's another question. The next question is something I'm really good at. You're good at being there for other people, and you're actually good at being like a good sister, like taking care of people. Yeah. I'm a really good but Okay, that's wrong. Completely yeah. wrong. You're really good at talking to people. You are a very, very social butterfly. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I think you're really good at, I think it's your ability to just do things. Okay, to so just do things. Like, open the corner and say, huh, oh, want to do this, want to do that. You're yeah, actually good at that. And that's such an awesome thing to be good at. Planning for the future, long term thinking. Oh, that's you see. This is why I chose the course that I want to do in um varsity. The, um, everything. Oh, you make really good sandwiches. Oh, this is a friend that you see, but I literally I would pack extra lunch for her because I knew she liked my sandwiches, and I make my own lunch for school. Or used to. So yeah, I know I make bomb sandwiches. Um, what do I suck at? And ballet. Don't think uh, we forgot about that. <laughs> okay, it's fine. My parents would beg to differ because till this day, till this day, my parents are trying to get me back to dancing. I don't know why. I'm, honestly, when I look back, I'm really embarrassed. Really embarrassed. It was a pay of pressure for my parents. Something you suck at doing is keeping your mouth shut. <laughs> Thanks. See with that message, you did what you wanted to do. Well done. Well done. You really wanted to say that. I know. I know. This is pretending you don't care about others. Yeah, that's the one. I I I really suck at hiding my I really suck at hiding my emotions. Like I cannot I cannot hide my emotions. Like to save me like if i'm sad i'm sad you will see it if i'm happy you will see it anyways moving to the next question if i had a warning label before i walked into a room like hey warning what would it say your warning label would just be a siren yeah like you know that emoji of a siren like Speak up. It literally, it would be fragile. fragile. Like you were like soft, you're so soft. Softer than you. Girl. Softer than you. Go back to sleep. Thank you. I want extremely, extremely, what's this? Highly friendly. Yeah. Okay. Say danger. Hoppa. But why? Well, what would it say? It would say caution extremely loud in the morning for no reason. I think it would be uh, beware, this person has excessive amounts of energy. Fair enough. It does not have an off switch. It does. I have seen the sh- of my life does not have an off switch be warned <laughs> say you're loud that would definitely be a warning label like warning i'm loud you know it's not always a bad thing but it can really take a person by surprise if you don't know what to expect 
Um, you're you're that loud person every single day. I don't. First impressions. What did my friends think when they first met me? You are nerd, but you are loud, but you are nerd because you're always doing homework. And <laughs> no, you're the one that always be like, oh, I want to go to Oxford. I want to go to Britain. Oh, I want to open a bank. Like, in grade three, when our teacher put us next to each other because the people we sat next to were horrible. And I was so glad yes. to sit next to you. Yes, because yes. Because you were so yes. nice. You were so nice. Yes. That was like the first thing. Oh. So, actually, how nice you were too. Oh my gosh. You know, I still think about that actually. Oh my gosh. Shout out to this friend who got in the shower with me, huh, Ma? I'll never forget the story. The most traumatic day of my life when I met you. I wanted to get rid. Of, I wanted to get rid of you, and you wouldn't leave me alone. That speaks on the fact that I am not shy. I met this person first day of high school and immediately walked up to her and I was like, "Hi, my name is Tando." I'm gonna sit next to you and we're gonna be friends and look at us now are you complaining are you complaining first impressions is like what you see is what you get because the people that do remember like how like they met me they thought oh my god we are papa and i was consistent in papa wami describe you in one word Is Don't say it. Friendly. Okay. <laughs> ambitious. Ambitious girl. But you are boisterous. Boisterous. <laughs> energetic. Yeah. Oh, energetic. Very hardworking. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think you probably are the most hardworking people I know because yeah once you set yourself to do something you make sure you do it and i think that's pretty cool it says most definitely be exuberant if oh. you don't know that word let's google exuberant because i don't know what it means exuberant is full of energy excitement and cheerfulness no way to describe you you're easy going thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video do follow me on instagram and quira and yeah subscribe please please twitter subscribe please please subscribe and yeah press the notification bell whichever side it is on okay i don't know which side it's on i don't know which side it's on but once you find it press it ne? and subscribe right anyways a big shout out again to the people that actually dragged me here because yeah ne? guys i hope i made you guys proud low and yeah that's it for me bye <laughs> one word to describe me trailblazer say it louder say it louder trailblazer thank you th